Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Faris episode with Mustang Bugatti on a GTA 5 taking out a random AI. The now driverless truck, however, bounces its way across some dirt before coming to a stop perfectly in a parking space. I could do that if I tried ever with the, uh, with the AI. That is a mighty, mighty piece of parking from the, the truck. I did lose a front bumper in all of that, though. Uh, Forks and K on a GTA 5 is trying-ish to drive like a sensible person, although admittedly with a little bit more in the way of burnouts at the, uh, the traffic lights. Of course, when you follow the GTA 5 AI when they're trying to be normal drivers, they seem to have some issues. The Vigoro coming over all British and ending up the wrong side of the road straight into the front of a fugitive. Don't know why. In all of that, Adamant Agron on GTA 5 has found a strange ethereal car parked in one of the underground car parks. The kind of damage is showing up, like the scratches are showing up, the rest of the car is invisible. If you try and get into said vehicle, you get teleported into somewhere that doesn't look particularly friendly. When you get out of said land stalker and then try to get back into your comet, you will magically reappear in the real world. It's a very magical land stalker, that uh, <laughs> particular one. Niv Racer on Watch Dogs 2 has spotted a couple of ramp trucks and sure enough wants to play around with them. The first of the ramp trucks though sets off on its own. The player, keen to stop it, puts it in reverse. That might have sent it a little bit further back than it initially intended and now it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Um, I mean, either way, the, the outcome is kind of what you were looking for. Trucks got confused and crashed over one another. Perhaps not quite the way he had initially intended for it to go, but there we have it. Speed Easy on Ghost Recon Wildlands has, uh, messing around with an AI plane, managed to get himself stuck. Now, we've seen piggybacks with cars on Horizon 3. His crew decide to abandon the plane, but one of them getting caught on the tail. Uh, that would not be very comfortable. That would not be, I'm fairly sure it would have been cut in half. But uh, yeah, we, we've seen cars hitching piggyback rides on Horizon 3. I don't think we've ever seen planes catching piggyback rides. The, the blue AI control plane does not care one bit about <laughs> the vehicle stuck on the back of it. Uh, however, when we do finally go for a uh, turn, that would be enough to throw the uh, red plane off and... Well, it doesn't work anymore. After that crash, kind of try vaguely to get some sort of control and glide it back down. But that's a seriously strong plane to have uh, <laughs> to have carried the player for so long. Player eventually deciding probably the better idea to uh, bail out in all of that. Stinty Boy 500 on Forza Motorsport 7 with a Porsche that has an interesting party trick. Now there is a, a bug where you can kind of slightly wiggle the, the wheels of the car in the pit lane and you can spin the tyres. Well with this particular Porsche you can actually do a wheelie in the pit lane. Yep, you can wheelie stationary in the pit lane. Don't ask, I don't really, I don't really know. But it's quite, um... <laughs> Quite impressive either way. Tippin' Ninetales on Forza 7 has got a rather powerful, if rather difficult to control, Jeep gets things wrong, sideways across a gravel trap and launches said Jeep through the air so high in fact that it gets caught on the invisible walls. It gets stuck on the, well, I guess on the top of the invisible walls, a place where no car is supposed to go and no car can really do very much about it. So now we've just got a floating Jeep. Magical, magical Jeeps. Uh, TR King at Copper on Need for Speed Payback just come out of a, a cutscene. There's some jumps around, decides to go and mess about hey, with said jumps. Doesn't quite realise how where the jumps are going to land and the poor Subaru has ended up, well, stuck on its side. Might not be an invisible wall for the uh, Subaru, but either way, it is not going to be going anywhere. It's definitely not supposed to be there. You can rev the engine and it's not even do it's not doing anything. It's a very stuck Subaru. Send Noose on Dirt 4 with a rather large unexpected jump. Gets things a little wrong on takeoff. Ends up rolling down the banking before suddenly landing perfectly. Now we've seen various cars, you know, roll on dirt and, and carry on. But the speed at which this car rolls, the severity of the rolls is incredible. It's picking up massive acceleration through the rolls and then suddenly just the perfect clip on the banking is enough to put the car on its wheels and stop the tumbling. It, I think it's one of the, the most violent rolls we've seen to suddenly having a perfect landing because that is getting some serious speed and then it's just all of a sudden stop. I don't know what the G-forces are going on in all of that. I don't think I would want to know what the G-forces were going on in all of that because that looks rather violent. But 
the Lancia lands on its wheels and they're good to carry on from all of that. Struss K on the crew is having some trouble with the police. However, the police have got more effective on the crew. The police have got a lot more effective on the crew as uh, their force fields certainly disable the Lamborghini. Now, we have seen the odd car flung around before by this sort of thing. Perhaps one of the more impressive things, though, is that it's not just the player car that gets affected by this. It isn't just the player's Lamborghini. If you watch one of the police cars that is around the force field, it's so powerful that it actually launches the charger. So the police car comes across and pings both of them into the ocean. I don't think we've ever seen the AI police be uh, sort of fired as well. Uh, Boundall 55 Eraser also on the crew. Perhaps one of my favourite fails we've seen on the crew. This one is trying to get onto the Golden Gate Bridge while being chased by the police. The Corvette has decided he shall not do that and very effectively actually manages to fire the uh, Chevrolet pickup off the road. He's now got to <laughs> turn the truck around, which isn't easy to do on the grass. These things do not have a huge amount of grip out there on the grass. Gets it back onto the tarmac. He's turning, trying desperately to get it on the bridge when another <laughs> Corvette fires him straight off the other side. Now we're going to go back turning around. I don't know if it was the same police car. It'd be brilliant if it was. It would be amazing if it was the same, same police car. Either way, he's still stuck out here. So we're doing another long looping turn to try and get back on the road before a Corvette almost manages to stop in front of him. He does eventually get onto the bridge, but you know, we, we laugh at the police forces on many games, but well done in, in that instance. They did a damn good job of trying to slow him down. Shadowara is uh, the final clip on Project Cars 2 racing at uh, Daytona. A little bump between the two vehicles and everything goes disastrously wrong. One of the cars spinning across the infield. The player car, the number 16, uh, just can't quite get it back under control. And at this stage, it's sort of just a passenger as everything goes quite badly wrong behind. The player's car gets launched up. A yellow vehicle ends up on its roof. It's a big, big mess here at uh, Daytona. So the, little, the little initial nudge on an AI car, AI car is enough to upset that vehicle. That then sends the player up into the wall. And it's just scrabbling, trying to get control of these vehicles at high speed. You end up just bouncing back across the uh, lanes of traffic. A few cars managing to escape relatively well, and then a lot of cars not. The player vehicle launched through the air. That would come to a rest upside down as well. There's two of them. Uh, <laughs> It's a big crash. It's uh, perhaps one of the most spectacular crashes outside of NASCAR 2003. This is a pretty spectacular, spectacular NASCAR crash. This is a little bit further back. There's just nowhere you can go in this. Try desperately to avoid the spinning cars, but the vehicle's further back. Can't slow down in time, as we see. <laughs> Black cars all through the air. That's a big, yeah, big, big shunt at, uh, at Daytona there. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to the series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Ferrari's Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>